Hello and welcome back to my Let's Play on Total War Free Kingdoms with Sima Young on Legendary Difficulty. The last time that's off, we had a battle waiting for us against the final Sima Yu army, which I'm going to proceed and murder now. After which, we're going to vassalize Sima Ai uh, and then annex him probably the next turn or something. And then all we gotta do is take out Sima Ying. I also have some good news, which I will talk about in a couple of moments by demonstrating my ability to move my camera as much as I want no problem look I can just whenever tap it whenever I have a new mouse it arrived today oh shit during camera stands I forgot about that but that's not a problem because we got explosive shot although it is raining which means I have to hit it more than normal but it's okay um yeah yeah I, I yeah as I already talked about in the last episode I ordered a mouse I still get, a use, uh, get used to it a little bit um but uh, yeah, I ordered a new mouse already. Um, in case you're wondering, it is the Logitech G502 Hero. I'd read pretty good things about it, um, and I figured, fuck it, let's just uh, pick that one up. It looks, it looked pretty good. I got the wired version because the wireless version is like double the price, and um, I actually prefer wired. Although you know, wireless can be super fast right now, but you have to charge and stuff, and I can't be bothered with all that nonsense. Anyway, so the plan is to blow up the walls first. Maybe fire there, but yeah, I'm pretty much... Oh, unless they're coming towards me. Oh, I did not expect that. Let's fire right in there then. Um, then there's not going to be much I can hit here with my trebuchets, though, i got to be honest. But yeah, I um, What was I going to say? Oh, right. Oh, this, well, I wasn't going to say this, but I did... Uh, I wanted to see, say something else. Um... I had read now finally, because I hadn't done this yet, I read the uh, patch notes of, uh, I, again, this for you will be weeks and weeks ago at this point, but patch 1.1.2, uh, 1, 1. I believe it is, or 1.2.0? Either way, the most recent one currently on the 8, 9th of August, the day after release. It, it, it accompanied the release of uh, A Princess DLC. Um, oh, what a hit that was. Oh, did we just kill General? He's gone mad. The fuck? Um, anyway, and I, I did read, actually, that towers were actually nerfed. Uh, I talked about this in, in one of the earlier episodes, because people commented on it and saying, yeah, the towers got nerfed, how can you not know this? I'm like, well, we didn't have access to those patch notes yet at that point. Um, and also, trebuchets are nerfed, so I talked about that in a fairly recent episode as well. Oh my god, that horse just fucking survived everything. I talked about that in a recent episode too, and... Um, I was surprised at how little, little damage they were doing, or at least compared to what they had done before. And now I understand it's because they got nerfed as well. I'm sure people would have commented about this several times now, by the way, on, on loads of videos. Uh, but yeah, again, everyone just has to remember that I'm way ahead of schedule right now, so... I didn't notice those things yet, but yeah, there's some other patch notes as well, obviously. Oh my god, we killed two generals of range. This doesn't happen. <laughs> that is new. I think mean, we were... I'm pretty sure we were firing at the uh, cavalry unit there as well. We weren't even firing at the general. Um, but yeah, so towers were nerfed, pretty big deal. Um... Uh, tributaries were nerfed, and there's obviously a whole bunch more range, or a whole bunch more stuff that is also changed. But uh, for the most part, not particularly relevant. But yeah, that's uh, I found that worth noting. But yeah, I was talking about the mouse. I was going to say something about the mouse, and then I totally forgot to talk about the mouse. I also have that. I should really be using. You got that. Um, but yeah, it takes it usually takes some time to get used to the mouse, but I'm actually quite okay with this. Uh, one part of the also that I bought a Logitech is also because I got um, I got that war chest, which I'm sure some of you guys saw the video of. Uh, war chest including the um, Intel CPU i9 9900K uh, and then a Logitech headset, the G635, I believe it is, and then the um, mouse mat, which I'm now using as well with my new mouse. So I figured, you know what, this mouse looks really good, and you know it's a Logitech. It's uh, generally good quality stuff. There we go. I kind of want to kill everything off, but I guess I'll just let my uh, dudes fire for as much as possible. Um, but yeah, so that's why I ended up uh, end up taking this one. But it's actually uh, considered pretty good, so... Uh, obviously, I do my research. I'm not going to just randomly buy a mouse. And I'm pretty much used to it already. Oh my god, we killed him with that trebuchet shot! What is happening? Trebuchets were nerfed. What are you talking about? Clearly not. Fake news. Um, anyway, I think uh, yeah, I was doing as much damage as possible and then we finished them off. 
because we can just chase them on anyway. Chase them, chase them on, chase them off, chase just chase them in general. Chase them, we can. Um, yeah, I'm I'm happy with it so far. Uh, I mean, I installed it like an hour ago, hour and a half ago. It's uh, got a lot of buttons. Uh, again, classic WoW coming out soon, which I'm going to be throwing myself in. And this mouse has a lot more buttons than my last one did. Last one, by the way, in case you were wondering, what's a, a I think I may have mentioned that at some point is a Razer Death Adder, um, which is not it's not a bad mouse. It was I at some point it was considered to be one of the best mice, but then I actually I looked on like lists now, and it was usually like it was in the top ten, but towards the bottom, and this one was a little bit higher. And there's some other mice towards the top, which were like 200 euros. I'm like, what the fuck? Who pays that much for a mouse? But anyway, um, let's talk. I talked enough about mice, I think. Um, I am going to recruit you. You seem pretty good. Welcome to my crew. Uh, and I will also take the replenishment. And then we're going to finish off this here faction. Battlefield Surgeon, sure. Whatever, dude. I've still got all the building stuff. We got 24 grand in the bank. I'm making 23 grand a turn. What the fuck is that all about? Alright, three men died, three, all three of the generals. <laughs> I always make that joke. Alright, there we go. That should be that faction deaded. See my Yi. Unfortunately, he himself is not going to be joining my faction. Oh, but one thing that's also nice is that this has a. Uh, you could scroll like normal, right? So just a normal scroll wheel that, like, it has, like, increments basically. You can also unlock it, and I can just do that. Oh, ho -ho! isn't that useful for this game? Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I was going to stop talking about mice. Um, but yeah, that's pretty good. You are pretty good. I'll keep you around as well. But yeah, I can just I can do that, and I can just un I can lock it whenever I want. It's super simple. It takes a, a single tick of the mouse, and then it's locked again. Anyway, um, I'm sure I'm I'm sure there will be someone out there. Oh wait, did she just immediately join Sima Ying's faction? The fuck. I'm sure there's someone out there who has this mouse and they'll be commenting like, Yeah, I love that mouse. It's great. Good choice, man. Or something. That is how you guys sound, right? Just very confident, very happy, satisfied at my choice of mouse. Um, we are fully replenished after that too. Right, so let's... Um, let's. I think we should vassalize him now before I do this battle because I might lose more men and then he'll think I'm weaker, perhaps, than I actually am. So please be my vassal. I'm also going to... Oh, I wonder if I should do a marriage. <laughs> um, I don't know which one I did. Did I join mine? Yeah, because that's sixteen point two. Character will join their faction. Wait, what if I do um, receive? Is that also positive? Um, yes, but not quite as positive. The thing is, <laughs> um, I could just marry her off. Though she's currently in an army, though. Yeah, that would suck. Yeah, you know, I'd get her back the turn after when I annex their lands, but for the moment it would kind of suck. So let's just, um, but it helps It helps the actual negotiation. So I'll receive marriage, I'll take a, one of your characters on, and then I'll take the other ones on later on. This guy seems to hate being part of your faction, but he also hates my wife, so, or my daughter, sorry. Zima Fu, your uh, third, no, he's definitely older, he must be an uncle or something, or an, or cousin, or nephew, whatever. He's legendary already. Uh, does that give me more points or not? No, it's still 5.6, so why don't we just um, change that to uh, to your error. It doesn't matter, man. I'm also going to give you all the ancillaries you possibly want, because if, if I give you a turn to equip them all, I'm just going to get them back anyway. So here's an item. I'm going to make sure I don't trade away too many good ones. Um, yeah, the match Gian I don't like. So here you go. That's going to make it a little bit better. I'm going to... I don't really want to give him territory, even though I literally get it back the same turn, or the next turn. I don't know if I want to do that. I probably will also be considered... Um, I don't actually, I'm not sure how that works. If I were to annex him, does that... Do I become... Because I'm obviously it's going to be minus 20 from annexing, minus 20 from like doing it just after that person became a vassal, but I don't want to wait too long. Because then there's the risk that they will become want to become independent. He probably has some things like honors treaties will not commit treacherous acts. Much more willing to sign deals with respectful leaders in diplomacy and oppose the ones with bad res respect rating. Harder to bribe in diplomacy makes diplomatic decisions based almost exclusively on diplomatic attitude. Oh wow, okay, that's why he likes me so much. Naive, willing to do business with even the most treacherous leaders. What? But he says much more willing to sign deals. Okay, he's willing to do deals with treacherous leaders, but he's he's less likely to sign with them, I guess. 
Never sees anyone as a strategic threat, will not turn or ally against factions just because of their strength. Ah, okay, that's probably why he's not minding it. Oh, and maybe that's why Sima Wave is also up for it. He's friendly, highly values any positive dip diplomatic events, easier to build relations with, tends to release captives. That's some interesting information right there. So, I can give you like a bunch of money. Ugh, that wouldn't even get me there. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to give him some land. Okay, well, what can I give you? What can I do you for? Wait, what? Oh, that's... Wait, how can I get the... Wait, what? Changsha, isn't that? No, that's Chang'an, sorry. I was like, what the fuck is Changsha? Anyway, I need to give you something. Um, this lumberyard right there? Is that that one? Yeah, how much is that worth to you? Not enough, alright. Um, this city? We built this city! Yeah, that's easily enough. Okay, let's see what else we got. We built this city on rock and roll. Okay, I can do that one too. That's that one right there, is it not? Is it not Jianglong, small regional city? Okay. Then I'll take my item back, I guess. We built this city. Expert's letter, ranger's outfit, yeah, I like that one the most, and I'll give you some money. Some good old money. Um, a regular, or a normal payment, because otherwise that might actually end up being bad. There we go, 1300 bucks. I wonder how much my insta money would actually be. He's quite poor. <laughs> you poor bastard. Let's just do 15 grand, or 25, yeah, whatever I have, I mean. Um, but that's nowhere near enough, so... Back to 1300. And a region, and you're my vassal. Sounds good. Okay. So now, Sima Ying is up for grabs as well, actually. <laughs> you can't annex um, several people in a row, so this wouldn't even be that great, but. Um, yeah, I think we'll kill him off the old fashioned way, because otherwise. Kind of screw ourselves. Do I start trading with you after all? Am I not going to be attacking you? You're no longer in the alliance, or no, actually, you were a vassal, which you are. You're no longer are, because of course, a horse, a horse. Of course, of course. No, because of course you um, you know, yeah, yeah, you did it. Things, reasons. You um, my income went up to twenty five k. Jesus Christ. Uh, right, because he's now my vassal, that's what I was trying to say. All those vassals are liberated. Well, well, well. And I'm also allowed to attack Sima Ying immediately, I think. And we are on the border, so I think that's something we'll do. Oh, they've, they've sparked some armies in there. I guess he became a little untrustworthy of my armies on his border. Have you got some in here as well? You better, you better hope you do, my friend. Right, before I end this, though... Sorry, not end this. Before I, um, because I need to go actually, before, but you know, I'll only be gone for two seconds for you guys. But before I do that, I meant to say, I'm going to be doing some battle here. So why don't you just go right fucking there. Uh, do I attack the town? I think it makes more sense to attack the town than to attack him. Because if I attack him, he's just going to run away, right? Um, Alright, so let's move you into range as well. God, I love this new mouse. It just feels so good. And then you're gonna attack... Can I attack the town? Yeah, I can. And then it should just be an auto I think. Oh yeah, low losses, decisive victory, blah de blah boo Okay, that guy might survive, technically, but it's unlikely. 52 men remaining. Is it? Yep, there's a unit in there. We should have enough movement, though. Nope, not gonna take you on. Take me on. Be um, right, let's finish that faction off with a good old delegation. And I'll take the 2% replenishment. Very. Oh my god, what the fuck just happened? Alright, well, the faction got destroyed. Jesus. Alright, can we... I'm sure you guys believe it's all friends, relationship lost, blah de blah de blah It's it's okay, right? Let's just fucking get rid of this shit for a second. Jesus. That was 
so many relations from one battle. I guess we fought three armies, so there's nine characters that all became friends from that one battle or two battles. Okay, who became available? It's Lu Zhuping. Who doesn't... He likes me, actually, because I let him go. Yep. Uh, you're fucking horrible, though, so see you later, friend. And Dai Jun. Sounds like a car. Also vain. Everyone's fucking vain. All right, more friends, blah -de blah We ranked up. We already did that. Good one, a commandery. We could buy a commandery. Okay. I just want to see, actually, the old uh, annexing this boy. How much would it hurt me? Yeah, sort of minus 41. So after 10 turns, the 21 will go away. It's actually not 20. I thought it was one per turn. It was two per turn, I guess. Um... Shortly after making your vassals an act of treachery, yeah. So we'd be super treacherous, but I mean, do we care at that point? Because we're gonna own half of the world. Well, we already own half the world. We own more than half the world. I think we'll wait one turn so you can equip those um, ancillaries and I can get those back. This is no longer my city, by the way. Um, that's okay. Right, I'm going to be right back. I have to go for a sec. Or, well, actually for quite a few secs, but I will be back for you guys in just one second. Alright, I have returned. Sorry about that. It's about an hour later or so, but it's all good. Now, let's um, do the building stuff, because I don't think there's any more battles. Well, actually, I guess we can technically attack here now. These guys have got a single town, so there's definitely going to be an army in there, but I have two armies to attack that, so... That should be okay. Actually, three armies. I can bring that one over as well. <laughs> they got that insane movement rate. In fact, four armies, it looks like. I might be able to read them over as well. I can definitely march them over, if anything. Um, so yeah, see my eyes are vassal, we're gonna, uh, annex him next turn, probably. But you're over here now. Um, I guess you can leave again? Are we? We have no treaties with you. I could still trade, but they didn't want to. Yeah, 40.7 is probably a bit too difficult to achieve. I'm not gonna p give a piece of land for that. Any other trades? I think we just checked this. See my hui. Oh yeah, someone told me how to pronounce hui, but I forgot what it is, so I'm just gonna keep saying hui. Um... We're not even trading for a vassal, that's kind of pathetic. Oh, there we go, we can definitely make that happen. Seven grand. Um, do you need food? Yeah, that's a slightly better deal for me, to be honest. Especially since, wow, he does really want food. Do you have any money? No. Do you have any ancillaries? No. Alright, well... Um, just, just take seven food for it, that's fine. Oh my god, what's my income now? 20, 27k. Oh boy. Um, I could make it even better if I didn't declare war on him. It's 2300 bucks. I'd definitely make more money trading with him than I would taking this town. I don't know why I'm so obsessed with taking this town. It's more like I just like clearing everything. Um, yeah, we could make a lot of money this campaign. Just sitting around making stupid amounts of money. We do need the money next turn, especially when we are going to... Um, we're going to uh, annex, of course, our mate. Sima Oi. Sima Oi. Um, you want this? Just go. Oh, yeah, this is fully upgraded. Wow, that's actually completely fully upgraded. That's in, that's actually quite new. Don't see that very often. Let's upgrade that. Let's upgrade that. Oh, right. Um, no, actually, it's not relevant. I was going to say something about something I learned, but that's just kind of old at this point. Uh, we're going to buy a bit build, even a Confucian temples here. We're going to build this building. No. Yeah, whatever. It doesn't matter. It doesn't It doesn't matter, guys. Come on. Um, upgrade this. 270 bucks. Sure, why not? What are we at? I remember that better. Okay. Uh, this is going to be that one. Yes. Unless I want to build... No, let's build a ministry infrastructure first. Yeah, sure. Sure. Then we go down to that one. Sure. Uh, what the fuck is this? Um, we have not got this one yet. So no, we do actually. We have a, yeah, we have all those buildings. There's a little dot in in front of it. Um, okay, just the Confucian temples then, I guess. Temples, then, I guess. Then it's. Possibly. Oh god. Oh my god. Where? Okay. Yeah. This is the right one. Um. Sure. 
and sure. Did I skip one? Nope. Uh, that one. The longer something takes to build, the better here. Okay, I definitely skipped some stuff earlier. Um, yeah, whatever. Just build that. Build that. It's a single turn. Why is everything so everything's too fast now? I can't keep up. I mean, I can keep up. It's the, the problem, actually, is that everything... I can keep up with everything, which means that... Uh, I want more food. Which means I'm just... I'm always just constantly building buildings everywhere, and it's driving me nuts. Nuts. All right, let's go take this uh, this here town. Why were you going that way? What in tarnation? I'm not going to declare war on him just yet. Although I guess I oh I can actually reach that too. Can you reach that as well? Oh God! Well, game crash when I ask that question. No, you can reach that place though. All right. Well, in that case, um, you're going to besiege this place here. Issue declaration of the independence. Um, let's like that. Then we're going to bring in the main boy. Unless I want to bring in the other one. You're actually closer, technically. Does it matter? I mean, where are you going to go? Oh, I could do a sneak attack and send him all the way around down here. You know what? That might work out. It might not work out. Let's try it. The sneak attack. I'm going to sail fast for a little bit, see how far I can get. I'm not going to attack these people here. I'm going to go around and attack him. I don't know what a towns he owns. If he owns, even if he, even, herp derp. If he even owns this or not, I have no idea, but we're going to find out. And then, so that should now be an auto resolve, I think. Sure, yeah. Quite a few losses, but don't care. Ah, ah. Unso? There goes Sima Hui. It's been a uh, vassal destruction city recently. Okay. Uh, ooh, an heirloom spear. That is actually not bad. Not too shabby, I might say. That's an improvement for you. That's what that is. Uh, okay, let's see if anyone else needs a better spear. I just gave you that one, I believe. You need... Well, you have a spear. Surely someone... I guess axe. And my axe! Now you're no longer legendary, though, if I do that. Yeah, that's probably not worth it. What about you? Do you become unlegendary? Yeah, you definitely do. Anyone else? Nope. It's a shame you guys can't use the spear. And give it to you. No, we already have good weapons on you guys too. Nope. All right, I guess I just have a spear in reserve now. That's fair. That's fair. Okay, so are we gonna attack right now? Because that would mean immediately taking out like several places. I think what I'll do just to prolong this campaign just a tad, because otherwise I'm gonna be out of fucking shit to do very quickly. Is uh, actually do the battles on the, all those battles. Do the battles on all those battles? What the fuck am I trying to say? Do you have explosive shots? You do not? Do you, you don't either, do you? Oh, you have it now. Okay, that's good. Um, yeah, because I can take all four of these towns in a single turn with an auto resolve. Which is <laughs> maybe a bit too much to ask. Um, why don't you go that way too? I think I like the idea of going down that way. All right. Because, oh yeah, we never even checked this, but yeah, of course, uh, Sima Yu gone as well now. So next is Sima Ying and then Sima Ai. It would actually be kind of cool if we finished the campaign by uh, annexing him, so maybe that's the last thing I'll do. But maybe not. I don't know, we'll see. Um, do we declare war right now? Yeah, I guess I will. Can I declare war on you without anyone caring? Sima Ai likes it, even though this, this was a former vassal of Sima Ai. Or this is a former vassal. So yeah, that's just an auto resolve. <laughs> I don't want to do this though. I'm gonna finish this campaign way quicker than I expected to. Oh no! I should have made it a night battle. Why didn't I make it a night battle? Hey, you know what? I suppose that's as good a time as any to exchange these two with these boys. Zero upkeep. Oh my god. And then I'll keep two of those. I mean, that's fair. Alright, our first city. Weapon Craftsman Lumberyard, so I don't really want money making here, or a food bake making here. That needs to fuck right off, and that can stay, I guess? That's the T1, though. No. Eh, yeah, whatever. Actually, no, it's not. It's the opposite of the T1. It's the non-T1. Oh yeah, this is the two spearmen, which I kind of like to see in uh, in action as well. Well, 
This is as good an opportunity as ever. Actually, this is a lumber yard. Uh, you know what? I'm going to starve all these places out. That's what I was going to do over here as well. Although I should check. Do you have night battle available? Yeah, you do. Alright, so if I besiege this place and don't fight it immediately, they will just night battle me out of existence. What I could also do is try and set up an ambush. That's not a bad idea. Whether she'll run into it or not, I have no idea. Could I do a double ambush? Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> oh, he's got a 100% chance. Alright, let's see what happens here. <laughs> this is a livestock farm. That one we could fight right away. I should have considered who I attacked with, actually. Um, doesn't really matter, but... Oh, they've got a fucking trip. No explosive shot. Starve, you fucking bastards! Oh shit, there's another full stack over there. Okay, are you just- Oh yeah, he, he has quite a few insanely good characters, so... I imagine some of these might- Or those guys might be some of them. No, definitely not him. Although his, cu his cunning and stuff is surprisingly high for a regular dude. Oh yeah, never mind, here we go. Yeah, no wait, he's not one of them. He is. No, he's not. I could have sworn I saw a big bar of cunning just now on someone. Was it you? No way. Nope. I don't know what's going on. Um, okay, so here we're gonna do that battle right there, right away. So, here we're gonna try an ambush, here we're gonna siege him out, and here we're gonna do an actual attack right away. What a great selection of uh, battles we've got there. And you, I don't know what the fuck to do with, just head home. Jump back in the water. What did you just say to me? Jinko Anin? How dare you? I will not stand for this. Um, okay, let's do this battle here. So, ooh, I just, okay, just because it would be crazy if they did it. Okay. <laughs> I actually, I almost wanted it to happen, just because it, it would speed the campaign up even more, which I don't want, but it would just been kind of crazy if they just accepted that. So you don't have explosive shot, but you do. Fair enough. Hopefully I got, oh, I should have checked that too. Oh, it's the free women uh, army, by the way. I didn't even realize I have one of those yet. <laughs> Can you imagine? <laughs> 2,000 years ago, being a guy in an army of <laughs> and where all the leaders of the army are women. Like, I'm, you know, I'm saying imagine 2,000 years ago. Don't imagine right now, because then I get a fucking shitstorm on, on me. But imagine 2,000 years ago, being in an army led by free women. <laughs> I don't know how that would have worked. Um, but anyway, here we are. 2,000 years later. It's the most normal thing in the world. Uh, let's have all the women back here. Actually, you can head back too. Oh, no big buff for you. You got melee evasion. You have not got the actual proper debuff, but it's okay. No, Ho Chong Bei. Alright. Yes. Ah, here. The, the men are here. Don't worry. <laughs> Alright. Uh, free spears on either side will do me just fine. Um, yeah, you guys can switch it just back here. That's fine. You guys can go on this side here. Another man has arrived. You've got the melee buff. Would have been nice if you had the ranged buff. And then you two can sit back here. And also, the calf from here can go further to the left. To the left, to the left. God, they're almost on range already, and I haven't even got my trebuchets on the field yet. Pathetic. There they are. That's why I should have attacked with those ones, because these ones have fire arrows. Fire ammunition, even. Explosive ammo. And it would have been good if they were the ones sitting here first, but... Oh well. Shouldn't be too... Um, careless in this battle because there is another army coming in as reinforcements and it's very likely that they have night battle available so it is very possible they could just besiege my town uh, after I take this and it's just a lumber yard and they could immediately, immediately attack me and I would have to deal with that with the army that is inside the town which is the army that is here first because they're the ones besieging the town and that of course means they're gonna take the brunt of this damage here. So, yeah. 
just so you know. This could get rough. Okay, they can't actually go through this area. It's... God, I love this mouse. It just feels so good. Also, I can do this. I already told you guys about this, but... It just feels so... The mouse actually keeps rolling, which is just good. You can probably hear it. Hold on, let me... Do you hear that? Probably not. I don't know. Maybe you hear it, maybe not. Let me lock that shit again. Um, yeah, it's like a proper... It actually just keeps rolling. It sounds funny. Not funny. It sounds, sounds interesting. Interesting? Is that... Is the sound interesting? Um, there's some cavalry there. I have cavalry of my own, but mine is not anti-cavalry, so... You know what? Fuck it. I don't care enough. Go over here. Ignore them. Go wide. If that cavalry wants to come chase us, he's welcome to do so. You guys go well out of the way of all this trash as well. Alright, you guys able to fire yet? I feel like you probably can, so why don't you just sit there and fire away! Fire! Yeah, they're firing. Well, they're attempting to. I'm gonna actually cover this a little bit better, because that unit could go for a long flank. Not worried about it here, because they've only got one calf. They do have the trebuchet, which I think might be firing at this point. Not something I've been <laughs> paying attention to. They've got themselves a trebuchet. Alright, you have a piece of gear, but it's no it's not like my Sushun. So let's get out of here for Sushun and we'll take that challenge. I will not take that one though. You and you are not gonna be accepting any jewels today. No, sir. No post on Sunday. Um You are going to duel that person though. But not right now. You're going to do it right when he runs past, so now. Because then the debuff from... Actually, we don't have a debuff, right? I remember, wait, do you have the debuff? You don't have a debuff either. Well, never mind then, huh? Alright, charge in there. You, charge in there. You, charge in there. You, charge in there. And the four of you... Oh god, you're being chased. One of you has been caught, actually. Charge in there. But then actually there. And actually there. You need to get the fuck away from all that nonsense. Charge in there, but hopefully actually... You know what? I need you over here. Oh my god, my trebuchets. What the fuck was that? <laughs> Trying to assassinate me over here. Alright, I need you actually over here. Your uh, big old debuff. Or buff, even. Uh, and you guys want to might actually use your abilities now. Also, I think I just double up on that. You don't have, you don't have an active ability either. Oh, Iva. Well, that's rather pathetic, isn't it? Okay, yeah, we need a lot of shit over there. Cav, let's have you come... Oh, yeah, you're over here already. I don't even know how I got you there, but you are here, so... Congratulations on your arrival at that location. You need to get the fuck back and do some other stuff. You know what? Go kill the trebuchet. I have another cav over here somewhere, right? There you are. I found you. You found me. You found me. Lost in there. From that um, that band. God, I love that band actually. I need to download their songs again when I go on holiday. Oh god, don't run into those anti cavalry men. How many have you killed? Not enough, I think. Well, we've been stuck in a duel since the beginning of the battle, so. <laughs> yeah, no, not many, no. You're right. I don't know what you want from me. <laughs> <laughs> hey. Victory! Uh, you should win that one soon as well with your big ol' help. Ye big and helpin'. Where's that cab? That was back here somewhere. Okay, they didn't attack my stuff. Are we winning this one yet? I feel like we've won except for that duel that somehow hasn't ended yet. Good timing. Can you please win this one now? It's 1.2k go. Well, one attack is she's dead. She's running as well. This unit's still not running. You didn't really lose men running in there, so I guess they weren't properly stationary. Stationary. Alright, there we go. That should be it. Victory! Man, you guys got fucking decked. That's one of the starting units as well, unfortunately. Then again, those from the other units got kind of wrecked as well. It is a siege. Well, not siege. A, it's, a, yeah, it's an attack on a town, so we don't have to finish everything off. Is what I'm trying to say. 
There, Trev actually got 212 kills in the end. I wonder if that was firing at my, my um, cross, uh, crossbows, which is why they did so much damage. Well, I'm not sure. You may go. And you, you may certainly go, sir. I have no interest in keeping you around, you one-eyed freak. Alright. Now, I can actually attack there and he can't move. This might We might have to preemptively strike here. Because I still get range, we have me reinforcing range them. If I wait, they'll... Yeah, they definitely have that. Also, this guy is... I still can't t tell, actually. I can see more of his stats now, but still not everything. But he probably is one of those crazy good people from the beginning. We got Lu... Lu Ji and Li Chu. That's fair. He doesn't sound like he's one of the main ones. But what the fuck do I know, eh? Okay, so we'll do that battle too. First, everyone became either friends, oath sworn, or a relationship lost. Okay, what can I do here? Upgrade this nonsense. Why haven't you done this before, you freak? Not all she! Alright. Uh, nothing too crazy in here. Can I see all your stuff yet? No. Well, I'll find out after the battle. You have a 7% chance of capturing him. This time we have our good traps up front, which is noise. Noise. Very noise. Really rather noise, actually. Okay. Man, I just realized, by the way. Oh, right. I think I remember what I was. There was something I was going to do some point at some point in one of the earlier episodes, and then I forgot. Well, one of, not one of the earlier episodes. One of the last couple episodes, and I kept forgetting what it was. What well, it was. Uh, I think I think I was going to check. Um, oh yeah, you can't. Sorry, I was going to check my research because I just I was going to say just now that um, unfortunately, due to this campaign ending sooner than expected, I was actually going to use. I mean, you guys know this now. I was going to use some cool new, well, not cool new units, but I was going to use some units that I don't normally use very often, like the defenders of or protectors of Earth, protectors of Heaven, even. Uh, and stuff like that, but I ended up... <laughs> I'm gonna finish the campaign before I get a chance to do that. Um, unintentionally. So, I don't think I'm gonna be able to reach that. The reason that's why I I just I remember that I was gonna check my... Ooh, nice, you guys got on first. That's why I remembered I was gonna check my um, research, is because, of course, they're locked by research. Also, you two need to go on that. Uh, cavalry, let's come back here somewhere. I should just go, go all the way over there. You two are gonna sit back here. This, uh, the fact that we're so far up kind of ruins my uh, information here. Actually, I want you two behind the line. Actually, that is behind the line. There's no... Yeah, there we go. There's the front line. Boy, fixed. And then you two are gonna sit over here somewhere. And the cavalry is going to go over here. Right. And now, we shall triple speed like we have never triple sped before. I'm also going to take all of this minus the calf. Actually bring him forward just a tad because I can't move my camera around there that much. Because I'm up against the map, the edge. Oh, hello. Did I forget you? Okay, so you and you are going to sit up front. Alright. Um, they got some Chiang Hunters. Oh no! Of course, it's Sima Ying. I totally forgot about that. We got the Chiang units now, but luckily he went for the shittiest ones. Oh, I've got Skirmish Gav with infinite, more, uh, infinite um, uh, fatigue immunity. Or inf infinite fatigue. Does that even make sense? They'll never get fatigued. Ah. Look at me. I can skirmish for days. Weeks even. Months. You name it. I can do it. Can you actually kill people though? No. <laughs> we haven't got the damage for that, I'm afraid. <laughs> we need Chiang Raiders and Marauders for that, but... Sorry, we didn't get those. Get up on this here hill. If you could call it that. It's just a mild incline. Although climbing that, just walking up that, probably would be relatively tiring. We're firing! 
get killed. Yeah, traps are now more or less effective. The well, explosive shot at least, which makes them a little bit more in line with regular shot. And that's definitely something I noticed throughout this campaign. I just wasn't aware that that patch was already active in what we were using at that point. Us content creators. CCs. Uh, I don't know, what's right? Just leave it. Well, there goes a unit. I don't care too much about chasing them down here. If they want to get away, I'm actually okay with that. Ugh, don't skirmish with my cavalry. That is not kind of you at all. <laughs> um, by dang! Nah. Okay, I'm gonna have to go chase those, unfortunately. I, I mean, if I can kill everything off, I guess I should, to be honest. Okay, let's just have two units do that. The other ones can just go this way. Uh, I can duel you with him. By dang! Um, no, first of all, you guys are not accepting any duels. You aren't either right now, not not with him, and he's only the only one can duel, actually, so... Not much choice there, I'm afraid. Oh wow, he actually captured the unit, or ca caught the unit, although they're still Chiang uh, Hunter, so... In fairness, I'm still a little bit worried, especially since that unit's coming over as well, okay. We might actually, you know what, fuck it, if we lose our calf there, we lose our calf, I'm okay with that. Alright, come at me, friend. Oh, Jesus. So many wards. Uh, don't I? No, I've done a range protection, I'm afraid. Right, I need to make sure we kill everything off in that case. Let's, let's do that. Fucking murder them, please, and get them deaded off the field, if you would, and mind. Go chase them. Where's that cat? Oh, right, they both went this way. Okay, we killed that. Wait, wait, they're gonna get away, so... At this point, it's completely irrelevant whether we kill everything off or not. Oh my god, did you char- oh, fuck! Okay, we routed that unit in the end, but we did lose this whole cav unit by charging into anti-cav. I made a right mistake, I did. Yeah, I don't think I'll be able to- oh shit, we need to buff here. He's not doing too hot. I need to wait on using that buff, and you need to get over there. What is your buff again? Speed and morale. That's kind of shit. I can't believe our melee line ended up doing basically nothing here. Yes, the chase worked out. They just turned around. Alright, we'll try and kill off as much as possible, but I'm not too worried about it now. You're still alive, that's good. How about these guys? Yeah, you're gonna get wrecked, but so be it. You're not really doing a whole lot to them either, to be honest. I don't think I'll be able to reach them again. But, oh well. Has your buff run out yet? Yes, it has. Well, in that case, get that one going. There's a battle where you out. Oh right, I have a couple of agents out here. Probably attack their other generals, shouldn't I? Are you winning, man? A comrade is being attacked. Oh, they turned just in time to see that. Impressive. Uh, how much health have you got? 10k. How much of yours has your opponent got? 3.6, what? 8.3 against 3.6, okay. Did I just see some trebuchet shots coming in here? 9, 31, 5.5, 4.9. .5, got him! I think that's our victory. Sealed. All oh, those two units. You're holding, man. 10 men remaining. You might survive this. Just stay alive a little bit longer. They will probably route any second now. 9 men remaining. Yes, you did it. You held off long enough. You did it. Congratulations. And we killed the general. Fantastic. We'll kill him too for you all. If you don't, then I will fucking murder you. He's getting shot by crossbow bolts as well. God, infantry is horrible at killing shit. My goodness. Can't believe see these two guys actually survived. Okay, we killed that one too. Alright, whatever survives, survives. I'm not too worried about it right now. Trebuchet was completely out of ammo. Survived was 1-2 cav, 3 cav, and 3 infantry. 
from the looks of things. Free car, free inventory. Generals are all dead zoid. I think I was legendary. 7% chance of capturing him. Didn't capture a fucking thing. I'll take the replenishment. Can I reach? That'd be great. Oh, no we can't. <laughs> Alright, well you can run back home now. Congratulations. You want to get that for sure. And the two of you load up. Yes, I'll take the range block chance. We have an actual useful ability and you will have that. Although we don't have night battles there yet, so that could have been useful too, but... That's okay. Right, you get to go home and replenish a little bit. Oh my god, it's Sima Liang. Oh shit, son. He's back. With his 193 resolve. Can I see your HP? 71k. So you think you can heal. Alright. That's, uh... That's pretty bad. Man, why you gotta have a grudge against me? I destroyed your faction, so what? Get over it, don't be such a puss. Alright, um, maybe it's time for round two between you two guys. I think you did fight on the battlefield, did you not? Not Maybe not personally against each other, but I feel like they were actually on the battlefield together. As enemies. Okay. Um, I can't build anything as we've already established many times now. Uh, there is just only messages of either a town upgrade or a, a like building saying, eh, "I haven't got this resource, please." All right, just out of curiosity, would you be my vassal? <laughs> oh no! <laughs> Wait, what? He wants to be my vassal. It's plus thirty-two point eight. What the fuck? <laughs> Wait a second. Dependent, very willing to become a vassal of a strong faction, but may still turn against a weak master. Admires power, likes large and aggressive factions. Okay, yep, that, that explains it. <laughs> what the fuck? Friendly and kind in diplomacy, acting positively towards them or their friends, greatly improves diplomatic relations, always releases captives. Wow. Man, this is a definitely a good guy. Um, if I do this, then the campaign is essentially over, though. Oh, he's even positive towards that? Are you serious? Give me all your land, man. Give it to me. That's not even that difficult. <laughs> I can make 42.4 up. Or just drop one of these. Oh, God. I don't want to vassalize him. I kind of want to. You know what? If I annex him, I get Sima Liang. Although he's got a grudge against me, so you're going to be impossible to keep around. But Sima Liang, Sima Ying. I don't know where Sima Yu is. He might be in this faction too, for all I know. Might be in Sima I's faction. As far as, you know what, there's, there, I don't even know if any of the actual characters have died yet. Sima Jong, Sima Ye, Sima, I don't know, other Sima, Sima Ying, Sima Liang. Wait, is that all of them? Because we, we, Sima Wei we have currently, Sima Ying's right here, and Sima I, of course, we also, we also know where he is. So there's four more, so there's Sima Liang, Sima Ye, uh, Sima Jiong, and Sima Lun, the guy we first killed. So that's the four generals, and they might all still be around, although I did believe... We saw Sima Loon, was it? I think we saw him in the Jin Empire at some point, so we probably can't get him through diplomacy. Or, well, not like this anyway. God, I am somewhat tempted to make you my vassal, but that kind of just ends the campaign, and I wanted to get one more episode of, that, episode out of this. Um, and I can't annex two people. I have to wait ten turns between annexing one and then the other, so it doesn't really... Honestly, it probably makes the campaign longer. Um... I kind of want to get those characters he has, to be honest, but fuck it. I guess we're not doing that. So we're sieging that one out. We're going to be yeah, trying to ambush there. Although he might just... She might run that way if I do that. But then I guess I take the town from behind her. And then I'll take that one anyway. And then she's trapped. <laughs> yeah, that works out too. Alright. Um, You took this... Yeah, that was this turn as well. Fair enough. Okay. Yep, set the turn. See what happens. I was going to... Yeah, he wants peace. Become our vassal, pay me a whole bunch of money, ancillaries, even give me a fucking armor craftsman. That one, uh... Oh wait, no, that's the one in the corner here then. Chengdu? Yeah. I guess, yeah, I border that, so that's okay. Nah, I mean, that's a fucking great offer, man. I'm not gonna lie to you. But, um... Not right now. He didn't run into my ambush, damn it. What's wrong with you, man? Can't you get yourself killed properly? 
That's me and the oh my god, we're making 30 grand per turn now. What is this? Hey, there's Sima Ningjing and Sima Shangqing. And a spy has been splashed. And another one, and another one. Oh right, yes, that's what I was going to say. I keep forgetting to do that. So we are uh, five turns away from being able to recruit Protectors of Heaven. Two turns from Yellow Dragons, which, you know what, maybe I'll shove a couple of those in the army as well. Why not? We'll see. Pussy. Uh, everyone became mates. Okay. We got, uh, oh my goodness. No one that looks particularly insane from, like, the character itself, I guess. Like, clothing-wise, except for her. And see my shoe. See, messy, 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 me issue. That was terrible. I should see myself out, but I won't. Alright, the two people that came of age. Show me. Uh, who were you exactly? Oh, what the fuck? Wait, what? Oh, they must have been, they must have been from Seema Way. Hold on, can I see Seema Way's. No, I can't see his family tree. Um. Okay. I can make it my heir, just like that. Interesting. Anyway, so who... who can, oh, I can't already got rid of it, so... Well, it's some Simas, but, I mean... Sima <laughs> Ningjing, that's definitely one of them. Uh, Reckless. Kind of shit for a strategist, but... Yeah, I'll keep you around. And Sima Xiang. You're cruel. Doesn't matter, as long as you're not a faction leader, so I guess that's okay. My faction heir is still not married, by the way. Should I marry him to Sima Wei's daughter? The dude from here. I should probably marry him at some point. He's 44 years old. It's about time to settle down, man. Lady Fang Li Shu. Have I got any uh, princesses in here? I don't think so. I can't marry the Sima people. I guess because it's marrying into the family, isn't it? <laughs> Yeah, perhaps not a good idea. Damn, I should have done this instead. Oh, that's so satisfying, that. Okay, so the first one is here. Lady Feng Li Shu, or is she... Who is she again? You're... Oh yeah, maybe a bit old, though. Who else have we got? God, oldest women in my faction are old. Sima Li Shu, but I'm assuming she's family. Um... All right, so marry. Oh wait, not arranged marriage. Sorry. No, I can't do that. Okay, well let's just, let's have a look. Let's have a cheeky peek here. So, um, wait, can I not see their age from here? I should be able to actually. Yeah, I can. All right, so I just can't do it while I'm trying to marry. Um. So she would be a good option. Shun, Ping Shan, you're 52. You're 52. You're 41. You're pretty good as well. You're even better. 31. Mi Rui Yang. Maybe we'll marry her. You're 57. Like, I'm not specifically looking for any character or anything. So you know what? You get to marry someone. Uh. This one, Mi Ruyang, congratulations on your marriage. Go make her some kids, all right? Better fucking get on it. Okay, now before we do all this building stuff, it is time to say goodbye to Sima Ai, his faction. We're gonna keep him, of course. All right, I hate to do this to you. Oh shit, does that annexation thing just last forever? I'm pretty sure that has been 23 since beginning of time, so we're gonna just always be... <laughs> Alright. Uh, I don't care. That's still gonna go away, I assume. So the minus 20 is just gonna last forever, and then the, the 19 is gonna go away over time, I guess. I don't care. Give me back that town. That was my town. Oh, the lag. There we go. <laughs> I'm treacherous. <laughs> yeah, that's fair. I see my ink still loves me as well. God damn it. It's actually going up. What the fuck is that? <laughs> this guy is such a joke. 
All right. I'm still making 20k per turn. Oh my god. I don't even want to look through all this stuff. Everyone's returning from spying on him. All right, so we got Sima Ai now. Oh god, there's, also, there's so much more stuff that comes to, with this, unless I just don't care about looking at all of it. Why have you got that weapon of all fucking weapons? Take this one instead. Um, and then I guess I'll immediately give that one away to someone else. Here you go, here's a better weapon. And then... You can have that too instead. And then you can have an axe. <laughs> and my... Axe. Wait, who is this guy? Is he new? Fuck, he's one of my new guys. I don't even know if I'm gonna keep him. Oh, we got Archers of Jing here. And a Vanguard. Great choice. Um, see, the thing is, I don't actually need armies, so I honestly could legitimately just get rid of all of them and be like, yeah, whatever. Uh, ooh, you've... Uh, why? It's six great units, except in the wrong guy. Chuma. Um, no one's currently unhappy with me, so I'm not too worried about keeping people for this sake. Do I just remove every single army we just acquired? We also have... Well, we have 16 out of 16. That seems like a lie. Because I just... I, I was on 15 already, I think. Or 13 or 14. But either way, we just gained 1, 2... 3... Wait, we only get 3 armies. Oh, maybe they don't disappear immediately. Well, in that case, there's not that much stuff I need to look at, actually. So I guess that's okay. I mean, there's still a ton of new characters, I'm sure, but... And loads of buildings and stuff. Lost our trade with Simai, what the hell? And the main question would be, I guess, is did we acquire any new legendary characters? We probably acquire... I mean, it's difficult to find out. <clears throat> as my voice decides to take the shit. Um, okay, yeah, he's in the field, though. Because he probably... His army probably has... An actual legendary duty, yeah, there you go. So that's 80 points on him. What about you? Are you also? No, you're not even legendary normal. Um, you have a grudge against me? Nope. Yeah, you're pretty good. I'm definitely keeping you around. You're currently on a boat. I'm on a boat, mother trucker. I'll take a look at me. I want to go back there. I can't even disband you here. Oh, I can't disband you. I guess you're an RC region, so it's okay. Um, I actually probably would consider replacing that one with a Dao Sword Guards and keeping him the way he is. I'm gonna replace his units with... I guess that would just give me a lot of infantry of Jing, though. I have two infantry commanders here. Maybe I'll just give him a bunch of cat... No, I can't give him cataphracts. Oh, God. <laughs> Why if you build your armies like this, man? Alright, I'm gonna keep his army. I'll probably replace all the units, actually, in the end. But I'm gonna keep his army. I'm gonna disband these ones. I guess I'll have a look at the characters, too. Give him some shitty gear. Like, this guy, I don't think I'm gonna keep him around, so you're out of here. I'm gonna... It doesn't matter anymore. I'm just gonna let you... No. I'm gonna play this the way I would normally play it. I'm still gonna play it as well as possible. Even if I don't have to. So, get rid of those units. And you're fired. You. Give back the items that you don't... Are that you're currently wearing, that don't belong to you. Uh, you're pretty good. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna keep you around. You have a grudge against me, but you don't hate me that much. Here's an upgrade in rank. Um, you are kind of an interesting character because I want to keep the G inf infantry of Jing because they're pretty cool, but then we have one unit that's just kind of off, which is a bit annoying. But I guess that's okay. I'll remove that one. Then I'll disband you, but I'll keep you in the actual. I'll, I'll keep you around. You, my good man. You hate me already. So you're definitely getting fired. And I'm not going to give anyone these units. Don't want people to recruit him and then be like, hey, that's some sweet fucking units right there. Alright. Alright. Fucking useful, that. Oh, that's uh, Sima Ying's wife we have in our, our court somehow. She got a grudge against me. <laughs> she doesn't actually. Um, you were. I'm keeping you. You're being fired, right? No, no. I'm keeping you as well. It was the um the vanguard. Wait, did I disband the vanguard yet? Did I just not do that? What the? Oh yeah, I didn't disband. What the fuck am I doing? Get him out of here, Bu Juin. 
get out of here. Okay, so that's one army dealt with. That army is definitely staying. I'm just gonna have to re uh, like re retrain most of it. And then this one, I'm gonna get rid of as well. But I might keep the characters around. Oh my god, bright and brilliant. Oof, that's one heck of a character right there. Unobservant. That's a shame, but other than that, pretty fucking good. And that's not even the biggest. That's not even that important for you. All right, yeah, I'm keeping you around, my good man. Don't grudge against me either. Good level ups too. Yeah, this guy's definitely staying. Oh, he's a six. Yeah, I already saw that, but I was. It's painful, but I guess I could recruit him in an army where I just want infantry and I just recruit it. I use the vanguard instead of a fucking. It's fine. I'll keep those units in there. Uh, let's look at the other ones now. Oh, wait, never mind. That's you. Sorry. Well, in that case, you're in the water right now, annoyingly. I'm going to keep you around, but I'm going to get rid of all these units. Regular cat effect costs zero to recruit anyway, so not really a problem. And I'm going to disband them right now. And you, handsome, cordial, etc. Uh, I'm actually not going to keep you, I don't think. I think I have enough people. You have a grudge against Seema Wave, all people. What the fuck? Well, he's in my faction, so. Oh, right, you're the wife of uh, Seema Ying. Well, in that case, I'll keep you around, I guess. That's fine. Uh, you're not terrible, necessarily. In fact, your traits are all positive, so yeah. Why, why would I get rid of you? Um, I'm gonna disband your units, though, because I'm not keeping those units. Got a feeling this guy might be the other legendary character that you start with or something. Or that he starts with. See my eye, that is. Uh, no, he definitely isn't. He has a grudge against me. Is he good enough to keep around? Kind of want to keep him just for the six units. Um, and I know I could, of course, always... Uh, nope, that's not yours, man. Man, what the fuck? I could, of course, um, get him in an army, get him killed, and then replace him with a champion. So we have six infantry of Jing with a champion. But, yeah. I'm keeping those units, and I'm keeping you as well. I'll just upgrade you once or twice just to get that out of the way. Alright, you guys are both just gonna get disbanded. Alright, so that's all the armies I got. Towns I need to look at as well, I suppose, but this episode has definitely gone on long enough at this point. So I need to do that, just to save the game, and then we'll do the rest of that stuff next time. And then we'll probably finish the campaign next time too, but we're not entirely sure yet. I will, uh, I'll see. Can reach that in a single turn and reach this in a single turn? Yeah. Then there's this stuff that could go that way, or either way, and it could be difficult actually to deal with that, but we'll see. I'm also probably just going to start sieging this out, although they have night battles here, as I saw, so they will just probably do a 1v1. Um, yeah, we'll figure it out either way next time. Um, and then, yeah, we'll, just, we'll have a look at all the towns and stuff as well, get everything sorted out. Although, again, we're at the end of the campaign, so technically it doesn't matter, but as always, I, I like to live by the rule, I guess, of making everything... Uh, as if I would continue the campaign after afterwards. Like, I wouldn't feel bad about continuing the campaign. So, that's what we're going to do now as well. Anyway, uh, that'll be that for now. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Until next time, have a good day and goodbye.